a KQED television production. It kind of was like the bang that set off the night. That is the funkiest restaurant. The honey on the prawns will make your insides smile. So. <laughs> More tortillas, please. <laughs> what is comfort food if it isn't gluten and grease? I love creme brulee. <laughs> the octopus should have been like quadrupus because it was really small. <laughs> and you know that when you split something, all the calories evaporate and then there's none. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... Bay Area Subaru dealers. Opportunities to test drive the 2015 Subaru Impreza are available at local Subaru dealers. Subaru, online at Subaru.com. Integrated Resources Group. Over 10,000 slabs in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin. Online at MarbleCompany.com. Natural Mattress Systems from European Sleepworks. Working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. European Sleepworks in Berkeley. Online at Sleepworks.com. Oakland International Airport, with service to Europe, Mexico, Hawaii, and across the USA. Park close, fly on time. Learn more at exploronics.com. Support KQED's vehicle donation program and donate a car to help raise funds for quality public media. Powered by cars. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check, Please! Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests, and each one recommends one of their favorite spots, and the other two go check them out to see what they think. A life in sales hasn't allowed Michael Gordon to forget his first job straight out of high school. He bore witness to the creativity of a chef who fed his imagination, nourished his soul, and nurtured a love of cooking and dining. And businesswoman Lisa Rogovin organizes food tours and knows a thing or two about eating. Always ready to give a recommendation. For her, it's not just about the food, it's also about the execution and delivery, the whole package. But first, human services professional Shaka Tillman values quality of palate as well as quality of life. The stresses of the day are soothed away with the combination of Laotian, Burmese, and Pakistani flavors. All of the spices fuse together deliciously in Oakland at a place called Camber Montclair Restaurant and Bar. Camber comes from our kids' names, Cameron and Amber, and we just found it was a perfect fit for us. I'm Linda, and this is my husband, Arfon. And we're the owners of Camber Montclair and Camber Telegraph. Open Camber Telegraph in 2012 and this in 2014. We wanted to expand and make a place more family friendly. We are a mixture of Burmese, Thai, Laos, Mien, Pakistani, Indian, all kinds of different flavors blended together. And you will not get that anywhere else. Anywhere else. Hi, my name is Terry Bumpertan and I'm the executive chef for Cambridge Montclair. I'm more of a Thai cuisine person and they let me do a lot of stuff which is different in the kitchen than other Thai restaurants. We don't hold back on the flavors here. I mean, our spicy is really spicy. We grow our own peppers in Fresno. We have a farm. The Camber hot sauce, it's a hot sauce that we've made and that we eat with everything. We like to share that. We're very passionate about our spice here. <laughs> I have a freezer full of peppers. <laughs> So how did you discover uh, Camber, Shaka? My wife is actually of Pakistani descent, her mm -hmm. family, and so we've tried to, we try to be a little adventurous with our eating. Stumbled across Camber and immediately just impressed with the bold, intense flavors of all the dishes. Mm -hmm. So my go-to at Camber is always the bouncing beef, tidbits of, of ribeye tossed in a wok with jalapenos and onion and sort of this savory garlic sauce, always moist, always flavorful. That's my go-to dish. I didn't have the bouncing beef, but I love the name. Um, my favorite dish on the menu was the Camber crispy rice ball salad. Mm. Did you have that? Yeah. The rice is cooked crispy and then it's sprinkled all over the rest of the salad with like a shredded cured pork and mint, cilantro, lime dressing, tossed really nicely. And what about you when you, when you kicked off when you got there? I, I launched right into the entree immediately. I had, had a garlic basil shrimp 
it arrives at the table and it, the aroma of it just kind of sweeps up off the, out of the bowl. It's, oh, it's nice, it's got this delicious, dark, savory sauce on the bottom and have that with your rice, put, put your rice on top and it's just, uh, the shrimp was prepared properly. But all the colors, you know, that, that gets your attention too. I, I love a nice presentation. As far as Pakistani flavors, I'd say the samosas, which some people would sort of equate to Indian, but more right. Pakistani because of the filling, because of the texture. Uh, the filling is like a light chicken filling with a little bit of a bite to it, not too spicy, uh, but still very delicate. The outside is crunchy. We wound up ordering three salads, and two of the three were awesome. The, the camber rice salad I loved, and then the other salad was the, the tea leaf salad. Tea leaf salad, right. tea leaf salad is such a signature Southeast Asian right. dish, exactly. and that the fermented tea leaf flavor right. that gets mixed with sesame seeds mm -hmm. and cucumbers, carrots and mm -hmm. tomatoes, right. not over dressed a great balance. It felt fresh and right. vibrant. And, but and you I said did, two out of three. You didn't like the other one? I didn't. I, I ordered the papaya salad, which is, you know, Again, another a, staple. A signature Southeast Asian Thai dish. Um, it wasn't memorable. It was like every other papaya salad, so it was good. But it just, with the other special, the specialness of the other two dishes, it just kind of fell in the wake. I had the, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, the paraka, I think it was. Paraka, yes. Yeah, um, I thought it was great. It's, it's something that's very simple. It's just, uh, it's an Indian flatbread served with a, a creamy curry sauce. Mm -hmm. Mildly spicy, you know, dip and eat, dip and eat. Um, I love starch, so noodles, pad seyu is the one that I went with. The noodles are tossed with like a sweet soy sauce. It's just a nice mixture of starch and vegetables mm. and seafood nice. and salty and yeah. sweet. Can I talk about probably the greatest thing that I found Please. about this whole restaurant. Please do. It's the chili sauce. Did anyone bring out the chili sauce well, for you? No. Are, you? are you referring to the Camber hot sauce? Yes. So in my opinion, that's, and I'm a hot sauce aficionado. Like uh -huh. I, I try to make hot sauce at home. The Camber hot sauce needs to be, it should be bottled. Absolutely. And, sold. and for some reason, like, it's not on the menu and it should be. It's, I think it's part of the secret menu. Right. The Camber right. secret right. menu. It's not gonna be secret anymore. Not Everybody's not gonna, gonna say this. The Camber hot sauce. Amazing, right? It goes with every dish. Oh, Why it would you keep so that a secret? Sriracha level so hot or hotter? No. Better. It's, it's okay. more flavorful than sriracha mm -hmm. and it's like chopped up, like diced Thai chili peppers with garlic, nice. fresh lime juice. This vinegar. is really refreshing and vinegar. And, it's, and it's they delicious. said like maybe 10 different kinds of different chilies. Right. It's really, it's really good. It's really amazing. Yeah. I'm glad that you reached yeah. out and, and had yeah. a chance and to experience I it. I like things a little spicy. Yeah. And, and another spicy thing that I had that wasn't on the food menu but was on the drinks menu was um, a great cocktail. It's a spicy jalapeno Thai basil gimlet. Mm. And I prefer tequila oh. to gin, so right. they made it. I will go back for that gimlet and for that hot sauce right. in a heartbeat. And the spirits menu was pretty extensive. Mm -hmm. I was a little surprised there. The scotches, the, mm -hmm. the, the right. gins, the vodkas, right. it was very nice. Right. Yeah. And what about service? I thought the service was great, uh, very attentive, not only bringing my meals, but also checking back periodically. They make an effort to accommodate people if you want to uh, substitute dishes. All right, Shaka, this is your restaurant. Give us a quick summary. If you're looking for very bold, consistent, intense flavors from South Asia to Southeast Asia, this is the place to go. Uh, give it a shot, you won't be disappointed. And don't forget the Camber hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lisa? is. She I was, shaking your head, yeah. I was gonna say, great Southeast Asian food at Camber. Um, definitely go for the hot sauce. Ask for it if it's not brought to you, and the jalapeno Thai basil gimlet. All right, and Michael. Cool, casual, quality, uh, beautifully presented food, and very reasonably priced. I would certainly recommend it to someone else. All right, if you would like to try Camber Montclair Restaurant and Bar, it's on Moraga Avenue at LaSalle in Oakland. The telephone number is 510-338-0857. It's open for lunch Tuesday through Friday and Sunday, dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab without drinks is around $30. Innovation isn't the name of the game at Michael's Pick. It's professional service, a relaxed atmosphere, and a straightforward menu. Everything that he expects from a classic American steakhouse. The downtown Napa location is the twist. But what better place to build a wine list fit for the perfect steak? You'll find it all at Cole's Chop House. My first cooking job in high school was in a steakhouse in Southern California. When I saw this space available, I walked in and, and in my mind immediately, 
at Scream Steakhouse. I'm Greg Cole, I'm the chef owner of Cole's Chop House. This building was built in 1886, so it's nearly 130 years old. Local quarried stone, first growth Douglas fir, absolutely amazing architectural gem. We focus on the very best products we could find, USDA prime beef, Angus beef, wild fish caught in oceans around the world. We have an amazing wine list. 95% of the wines we serve are Napa Valley wines. Hi, my name is Eric Keffer, and I'm the dining room manager. We specialize in classic American cocktails, and we have about uh, 70 different single malt scotches. We've blended six different barrels of bourbon from Woodford Distillery. Been here for eight years. The staff that we have here and the guests that come here really sets the mood of this place. What we strive to provide is the very best steakhouse right here in, in little old Napa. I want to come in and I see all these people having an incredible time. It gives me an amazing sense that, that we created this. It's a magical place. Okay, Michael, a good steakhouse. I'm from the Midwest, from Chicago, and a good piece of meat. That really is what Kohl's is all about, isn't it? Absolutely. It's not about culinary gymnastics. It's about <laughs> doing some things very simply, but doing them very, very well. If it has a bone attached to it and it's well prepared, I'm, 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 <laughs> it's, I'm with it's, you. it's good for me. I mean, I love, I love the chops. I, I love the steaks. Uh, my, my most recent visit, uh, I did have uh, New Zealand lamb chops that were just absolutely wonderful. It's perfectly seasoned and beautifully roasted. It's so juicy, and, and you just, you know, where's, where's the next one? <laughs> <laughs> I love meat like you. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> yeah, and I like it rare. And the sides are almost as important to me as the main dishes. And everything's a la carte. Everything is a la carte. What did you get steak-wise? We got a New York. We got the 16 ounce New York. You went for it. We were Which trying is about to, the size of this yeah, place. Yeah, basically, right. my yeah. head. We were deciding between the New York and the ribeye. I like mm. fat in my meat, and so that's where all the flavor is, yes. and so the we were both very happy. And, and any was, sides? We did, yeah. We had cream spinach, and classic, just like everything else. It had, you know, sautéed onions and butter and mm. gruyere or some kind of cheese melted in there, and it was just delicious. And then the other side, mm -hmm. we had the hash browns, mm. which are cooked really crispy. It's like a sauté pan filled with shredded potatoes. I went with a party of four, including myself, and, you know, I'm not from the Midwest or New York, but, you know, I like meat. We're all Vikings at the table, right? So we. <laughs> We ordered uh, three steaks, and just for fun, we ordered halibut. Halibut was amazing, but didn't really stand up to the meat, the right. steaks. Um, but from the steaks that we ordered, there's a seasonal addition, right? A seasonal entree, and that was the, the Wagyu beef. And that was served with um, like a truffle-based sauce, really creamy mashed potatoes and, and mushrooms. That was a really good steak. It was seared nicely, kind of crisp on the outside, but very flavorful and tender in the, in the inside. You should be able to cut a waggy with your, with your fork, and right? And we, we were able to, it was amazing. That, wow. that was a really good dish, very well prepared. Sides, we had uh, the gratin, the potato gratin, um, which was also very good. But what stood out for all of us at the table was the lobster and shrimp bisque, mm. which was in a puff pastry. That was sort of like little morsels of, of lobster and shrimp. The bisque wasn't very heavy, it wasn't very creamy, it was kind of light and delicate. It was perfect. That was, that was a really good dish as well. You can tell that the chefs are involved with selecting this meat. You know, it's dry-aged. You get Midwestern beef from these guys. Absolutely. It's dry aged. Absolutely. And that's, that's mm -hmm. half the battle right there. And what better place, as we said, to build a magnificent wine list? Yeah. I mean, anything formerly a cow going with some big red right. Cabernet is, mm -hmm. is a match made in heaven. Right. So, so they've really built the list around that. You can drink your way through Napa. And the sommelier was very helpful, very friendly, great service. But the standouts also were their cocktails. They have very delicious cocktails. Someone ordered Dark and Stormy, which was probably the best I've had in my entire life. You can feel it in your bones. It kind of <laughs> lightens up your bloodstream. It was stream. dark and it was, it was stormy. dark and stormy. Um, so it was really good. Their bartenders. And I've gone doing. and just sat at the bar there and right. ordered some food and had a drink. I mean, it's a, it's a nice ambiance. Let's talk about ambiance there. It's very dramatic, um, really high ceilings. There's two levels of seating. So the upper level is like a balcony. I feel like if you set up there, it'd be like watching a, a performance. Right. At what about desserts, y'all? Did you so have any? So dessert, we went with the Bananas Foster, right. which did not disappoint. Uh, flambe, right, right in front of us, table side, very fun, very Fire classic. always wins. Fire always, always wins. wins. So <laughs> that didn't disappoint. 
So we went for a classic cheesecake and classic graham cracker crust, and it was great. The bourbon bread pudding. Oh! And it tasted just like that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was it was wonderful. It, it was, it was, it was, it, was it sweet? Yes. Was it you know kind of heavy? Well, yeah, the way the bread pudding is supposed to be, right, but right. but not overly so. It was, it was right. beautifully balanced, and yeah, it was wonderful. That bourbon gives it that beautiful little kick. That's it. This is not an inexpensive spot. Do you no. consider this a special occasion place, or so? you have to be willing to sort of dig into your wallet to be able to appreciate the restaurant. And as long as you know that going in to the experience, you should be fine. Good meat costs a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's true. All right, this is your spot. Give us a quick summary. Napa is a bit of a destination spot, the whole Napa Valley. And, and if you're going to treat yourself to that, why don't you compliment that special visit with a place as special as this restaurant? Cole's Chop House, I love it. All right, and Lisa? Great classic American steakhouse. If you're in Napa and craving steak, it's a great spot. Okay, and Shaka. So I'd say if, if I'm in Napa, uh, I would definitely head to Cole's. I would, I would take advantage of the patio on a nice Napa day. I would order a dark and stormy, and I would enjoy myself. All right, and you'll call me. And I'll call you. I'll call you. Okay. If you would like to go to Cole's Chop House, it's on Main Street at Pearl in Napa. The telephone number is 707-224-6328. It's open every night for dinner. Reservations are recommended. And the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $60. As a wine expert, I'm always on the hunt for discoveries from places new and old. I found one recently in Spain's Carignana region. Located near the historic city of Zaragoza in northern Spain, wine production dates to Roman times. The main grape is Lush Garnacha, but the region's namesake red grape is Carignana, also known as Carignan around the world. With many vines over 100 years old, this ancient region is undergoing a renaissance and is poised for renewed international acclaim. The wines are affordable, most under $20, and the hallmarks of both whites and reds are freshness, lower alcohol, usually under 14%, and vibrant, bright fruit flavors. These are truly treasures to uncork. Growing up in New York, Lisa Rogovin is no stranger to a good delicatessen. And now that she's found one that feels like home to her, she's like a kid in a candy store. House-smoked pastrami, fresh-made pickles, warm-baked bread. You'll find it all in San Francisco on 24th in the Mission at Wise Sons Jewish Deli. I'm Evan Bloom. And I'm Leo Beckerman, and we're the owners of Wise Sons Deli in the Mission. We struggled with finding a good name for quite a while. We fought for about a year about it. And we joked that it's two Jews, three opinions. Doctors and lawyers, smear bucks. And one of them was Wise Son. And it rang true for us. I would say that Wise Sons is sort of our take on what we think Jewish deli should be now, as well as when it might have been 100 years ago. We're really trying to create not just a Jewish community, but a neighborhood community. The food we serve is really, really personal for a lot of people. The nostalgia and the memory of maybe when they ate that dish in the past with their families or their friends. Leo said, you know, here's my great grandmother's babka recipe, and it was on a, you know, a handwritten note card. And I said, well, here's my great grandmother's babka recipe. And of course, we both had completely different ideas of what a babka was. And ultimately, we set out to create something different than either of us grew up with. A lot of the products come out of a plastic bag. Here, if it comes out of a plastic bag, we put it in the bag. You know, we have a lot of pride for making as much uh, ourselves and making it here. All right, Lisa, I gotta say, we were just talking meat, and we're gonna talk more meat, yes, aren't we? we? We are, we're gonna talk about pastrami, we're gonna talk about pastrami, <laughs> we're gonna talk about pastrami. <laughs> pastrami. I'm from New York, and I'm a Jewish girl, and San Francisco really has not, I've lived in San Francisco for almost 25 years, and there just hasn't been good deli here. Mm. And when I went to this pop-up, I was so excited because I knew that finally these guys get it. Why Sun supersedes my family memories of of deli. That's high praise. Yeah, part of it is because they've elevated it. The ingredients are given love. Like they want to make sure the meat's clean. They want to smoke the meat themselves rather than use liquid smoke, which a lot of places do. Mm. It's all about the pastrami, and I want 
to like have variety when I go into Wise Sons and order something different, but I feel like it'll kill me if I don't get a pastrami sandwich. So <laughs> it'll kill ya. So it'll kill me. So I get the pastrami Reuben. Right. And so I thought I would change it up a little bit. And so it's this griddled sliced pastrami with some Swiss cheese and sauerkraut and Russian dressing and like cheese that's melting out. Oozing. So you get this like crispy, you know, like you can break off the little cheesy bits before you dive into the masterpiece. Now, uh, did you have pastrami? <laughs> Was that your? It's, you know, it's a funny thing. It's what I asked for. Yeah. It's not what I received. Uh, <laughs> oh. I, 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 I asked for the pastrami Reuben. I, I received the corned beef Reuben. Okay. Which uh, is different, too, too, late. That would have killed me. It's, it's a very diff <laughs> different experience, but um, it was wonderfully done. It was very tender, very juicy, and, and it really is all about the meat. So that's that's what you're getting to, and the flavor kind of hits you. like it, it pops. It's nice. It's got a little, a little pepperiness to it. Right. Um, and, you know, nice, nice sweet juices to it. So I would like to go back and maybe experience the pastrami, especially based on what, what you're saying here now. To be honest, I wasn't expecting much because of the, you know, the Jewish deli in the mission. Eh. But I was, I was really impressed. Um, we had the pastrami cheese fries, mm. a nice bed of, of French fries topped with like a nutty Swiss bechamel and then garnished with very delicious pastrami. Can't go and pickles. And then the, the corned beef hash. I always think like I, I measure a breakfast spot or a brunch spot based on the corned beef hash. I love corned beef hash. Mm. This one was remarkable. Like it wasn't just a big plate of mushy starch plopped onto a you know, in a container. It seemed like everything was sort of prepared individually and then incorporated into a dish. It was probably one of the, one of my favorite corned beef hash dishes in the, in the Bay Area, which says a lot. Right, mm -hmm. says a lot. You and know. they serve breakfast all day long, right? Like right. you can get, we went for lunch, but you can get breakfast at lunch. Mm -hmm. Right. But I wanted to just mention that when you're eating a pastrami sandwich, and it's, you know, it's a little heavy. Right. The perfect pairing with it, and what I always order is uh, the celery soda. It sounds strange to most people, but it's something they make in-house. Oh. And it just takes that... Grease like, away. It grease, gives you yes, a little it, freshness. It, it, like, it eliminates all of the cholesterol. I choose beer. <laughs> you should do the same thing. That but. would be good, too. <laughs> and they do have a few beers. So I got the, the babka. So babka is this classic Jewish cake. You can have it either chocolatey or cinnamony, and I think everything is better chocolatey. Right. Mm. And what about bang for your buck? I would say great bang for your buck. Uh, very reasonably priced, and, and I, I had no idea what to expect in a Jewish deli. I'm, I'm not from New York, I'm not Jewish, and I don't know about Jewish food, but it was a nice exposure to it. Uh, the, the, the pickles made in-house, wonderful. Very, yeah, a lot of pickling. I love pickles. I'm, they call me Mr. Pickle. <laughs> <laughs> the pickles, yeah, very fresh, very sort of vibrant, and, and paired well with all the dishes we ordered, so I was impressed. Sometimes it's an awful long line. Right. Yeah, sometimes. I knew yeah. better, so I showed up before noon um, on a weekday. Yeah. So I came with uh, two kids in my dining party, very particular as kids are. And so one of the kids just wanted a very simple turkey and cheese sandwich. It's not on their menu. <laughs> However, the, the staff are super accommodating, um, and they made it. So I was, I was super impressed by that. Well, it is your restaurant, Lisa. Wrap it up for us. Jewish girl from New York. I know my deli. Wise Sons, thank you for bringing great deli go for a pastrami sandwich and have extra mustard. Ah, nice. <laughs> and Michael? I would certainly return. I mean, for me personally, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be a special out of, out of my way place to go visit, but if I'm in the neighborhood, I would absolutely visit again. And Chaka? Well-prepared meats, well-prepared breads, delicious pickles, I'll definitely be back and possibly try the celery soda. <laughs> All right, if you would like to try Wise Sons Jewish Deli, it's on 24th Street at Shotwell in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-787-3354. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Monday through Saturday, breakfast and lunch on Sunday. Reservations are accepted for dinner only, and the average dinner tab without drinks is around $20. I have to thank my great guests on this week's show, Shaka Tillman with the melange of Asian flavors at Camber Montclair Restaurant and Bar in Oakland, Michael Gordon, who chose Cole's Chop House, the Temple to Carnivores in the heart of wine country, and transplant Lisa Rogovin, who finds a taste of home at Wise Sons Jewish Deli in the Mission in San Francisco. Go to our website at kqed.org slash check, please, to watch every episode. Subscribe to the podcasts and find information and links to every restaurant featured. It's also where you can apply to be a guest on the show and where you can read my notes on all of the delicious wines we're drinking today.
You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter for exclusive behind the scenes clips, pics, and notes from me. Facebook is the place to tell us what you think and share your dining experiences at any of the restaurants we talk about. We do love hearing from you. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Yes. Woohoo! Yes. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by Bay Area Subaru dealers. Opportunities to test drive the 2015 Subaru Impreza are available at local Subaru dealers. Subaru, online at Subaru.com. Integrated Resources Group, over 10,000 slabs in stock today. IRG, in Brisbane and Dublin, online at MarbleCompany.com. Natural Mattress Systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. European Sleepworks in Berkeley, online at sleepworks.com. Oakland International Airport, with service to Europe, Mexico, Hawaii, and across the USA. Learn more at iflyoak.com. Onyx, Team Talk, Redefined. Learn more at exploreonyx.com. Support KQED's vehicle donation program and donate a car to help raise funds for quality public media. Powered by cars.